God. They celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Easter. They doing all of the same stuff they're talking about. I ain't spiritual. I ain't religious. Exactly. That mark, I'm going to tell you what the mark is, but I'm going to get it in part two. That mark is sin. No dog on chip. You chipped up right now. You got a chip in your credit card. You got a chip in your phone. Chip in your computer. Chip in your car. Chip in your house. He, he know where you at at all times. He got GPS. What do you need to put? He's been keeping you. It's called a red herring. You chip. <laughs> Oh, coronavirus, they're talking about putting nano chips in you. Easter. They doing all of the same stuff and talking about I ain't spiritual, I ain't religious. Exactly. That mark, I'm gonna tell you what the mark is, but I'm gonna get it in part two. That mark is sin. No dog on chip. You chipped up right now. You got a chip in your credit card. You got a chip in your phone. Chip in your computer. Chip in your car. Chip in your house. He, he know where you at at all times. He got GPS. What do you need to put? He's been keeping you. It's called a red herring. You, all right, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much, El Apostle Tahar. He uploaded this clip of this group. They're called uh, the Nation, the True Nation Israelite Congregation. And uh, pretty much they're going off on the scriptures. All right, we got another group that's going off on, um, you know, Revelations 13. And it, you notice it's a lot of individuals popping up teaching this doctrine. A lot of um, groups is starting to get revealed. And what do I mean by revealed? They're getting brought out to the light, right? That Proverbs, uh, that Proverbs uh, eighteen sixteen or Proverbs sixteen eighteen, right? Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before fall. A lot of individuals are being brought out to the light. If you a Jake that's new in the truth, I highly recommend you to follow Great Millstone. Don't be following all these different groups because they're not all teaching the same doctrine. I've said it many times before. Just because you see a dude, because he has a beard, he has a microphone in his hand, he has a shofar on his table, right? He has a menorah, he has a fringe t-shirt with some braids, right? And he's supposed to be teaching out of the scriptures. That don't mean that he's a man of the Lord. Because the doctrine is what matters. The doctrine that you teach is what is the big deal. And it's truth. So we're just going to make this quick. My battery's going to die. So, you know, I wanted to get a quick hit in. I just got off the plantation. I've been working 44 hours a week. So, Salakia, you know, get this in through the spirit. Just a quick hit. This is Romans 16 and 17. Now, this is why the elders and apostles of Great Millstone is rebuking so heavy. Because there's individuals that's going off on the scriptures. They're going off on the doctrine. They're going off. It's a lot of individuals going off. All right, and you got them FWI guys that's saying that there's many forms of the MOTB. Now you got these guys saying it's sin. That's like them other guys. It's like IUIC. All these individuals that I'm naming, they're sold out under the 501c3, or they could be agents. This is why you can't be following all these Hebrews like groups. Just because a dude got a garment on, he has a fringe t shirt. That's not considered a garment. Let me reiterate myself. Just because you see a dude. And he has fringe t he has fringe t shirts on, which fringe t shirts is not a garment. All right, that fringe t shirts is not in the scriptures, man. All right, the elders did lessons on that. You're not supposed to be wearing no damn fringe t shirt, but you guys got guys out there with fringe t shirts. They wearing fringe t shirts, right? 
They got a beard. They got a nice shaped beard. They got an afro. They got cornrows. They got a apographer and a King James Bible in their hand. And they got a 12 triad chart on. Just because you see an individual like that, that don't mean he's the man of the Lord. If he's not teaching the same doctrine as Great Millstone, he's not considered a man of the Lord. Yeah, y'all not considered man of the Lord because you're teaching false doctrine. Yeah, you're going off. This is Romans 16, 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. Because you got many Israelite groups out here. You got a lot of these Israelite groups out here. They all claim that they're men of the Lord, but they're not teaching the same doctrine as Great Millstone. They're not teaching 100% truth. You got guys going off on the scriptures. They're going off on Revelation 13. They're saying it's spiritual. They're saying it's they saying either either it's a spiritual or it's a cell phone or it's sin. None of those is correct. All that shit is going off. You fucking going off. All right? You fucking going off. But we just going to get make this simple. This is going to be simple. This is uh Romans 16:17. Now I beseech you, brethren, right? Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary. That word contrary means opposite to the to the doctrine. What is doctrine? What is doctrine? Teachings. When you read a scripture and you come up with your own interpretation and you're using that scripture of your own interpretation, you just establish a doctrine. By him saying it's sin, he's established a doctrine. He's going off on that because he's established a doctrine. His ass is going off. You guys are going off. It's getting ridiculous out here, man. You guys are butchering the scriptures. You guys are erring on the scriptures. And if you don't repent, the Lord gonna, he gonna destroy you, man. It says, it says contrary, right? Opposite to the doctrine, the teachings, which ye have learnt and avoid them. So the doctrine that you've learnt, if you learnt from Great Millstone, you want to continue in that doctrine. You want to continue in that. You don't want to go away from that. All right? And if you're a Jake out there that's teaching that it's sin, you're going off. If you're teaching that it's a cell phone, your ass is going off. If you're teaching that the MOTB is, is, is spiritual, your ass is going off. You're going off on so many different levels. You're going off because the MOTB is a currency. It's a fucking currency. Excuse my French. It's a currency, man. How difficult is that? Let me get this precept out and I'll end it with this, man. Let me get that, uh, um. Um, see if I can get that out. So like it, brothers. I'm gonna read this because this is what's going on amongst Israel right now. Matthew 7 and 15. It says, "Beware of false prophets." There's a lot of false prophets popping out. If a dude is teaching that the MOTB is spiritual, he's a false prophet. If he's teaching that it's a cell phone, he's a false prophet. If he's teaching that it's sin, he's a false prophet. Because that's contrary to the that's contrary to the doctrine. That's going off. We know the MOTB is a currency. Go to usdebclock.org, man. Look at usdebclock.org. There's no value to the dollar. There's no value to silver. And there's no value to gold no more. Go to usdebclock.org. So they gotta put in a new system. The MLTB is a, is a system. You guys are misleading people. You guys are misleading people, man. You guys are going to be destroyed if you don't repent. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. This is why I say just because a guy got a fucking beard, this dude got a beard. It's because a dude got a beard. He, ha he, has, he has cornrows. He has a nice shape fro. He got some delicate ass garments on. He got a fringe t-shirt. Right. And he's reading a King James Bible and apographer just because he's doing that. That don't make him a man of the Lord. If he's going off on the doctrine, he's not a man of the Lord. He's a false prophet. He's a false prophet. These guys are false prophets. Yes. If you're teaching that the MOTB is sin, you are a false prophet. If you fucking teaching that shit. You're a false prophet. If you're teaching that we're already in New Covenant, your ass is a false prophet. Because that's contrary to the doctrine, man. That's fucking contrary. We're not in the New Covenant yet. All right. The MOTB is not sin. Alright. You guys are fucking going off. And the Lord gonna kill your ass if you don't repent. Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothes and they look nice. They got fancy ass garments. They got a they got a microphone in their fucking hand. They got a nice background. They got the background popping with a nice banner. Right? They 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 uh what's that? They they publishing their their so-called Hebrew Israelite 
uh, uh, truth, which they don't have, because everything to them is publicity, publicity. But inwardly, they are raving wolves. D guys like this is raving wolves. Everything to them is vainglory and profited of money. That's what's wrong with these individuals. This is why, again, you want to follow Great Mel Sony Brazil. Like, don't be following all these different groups because they sold out under the 501c3. The MOTB is not sin. The MOTB is not a cell phone. And the MOTB is not spiritual. If you're teaching that shit, you're a false prophet and your ass is going to be destroyed. Your ass, yeah, your ass is going to be destroyed. The Lord going to kill your ass because you're going off. You're going off on the doctrine, man. So I just want to do a quick hit, brothers. I would do it more, but my phone is about to die. So I'm in there with that. Avoid these individuals. They're going off. So, low ones, that's Zedifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahashai, Bahashim Yahweh, Kachodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And low ones, that's Zedifying. So, again, it's because you see a dude with a beard and he has a fringe t-shirt and he has a shofar and he has a fucking microphone in his hand. That don't make him a man of the Lord. If he's going off on the scriptures, he, that's how you know he's a false prophet. Because he's going off on a doctrine. Don't follow these individuals. Because that that he's doing, that's not something small. That's that's something big that these individuals going off on. That's that's damn near 99% of, 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 of the truth, of the doctrine that he's going off on. That's that's not that's not twenty five percent. That's ninety. That's a hundred percent. He going off on a hundred percent doctrine there because that's a prophecy. All right, Revelations thirteen is a prophecy, and if you're teaching that that shit is is sin, you're going off a hundred percent. You you going off ninety nine percent, a hundred percent. You going off big, because that's a prophecy, man. You just better repent. Shalom.